Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. I don't even have an axe in my hand, uh, and that's because I don't have you guys liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, oh, 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 check this out. Check this out. Ready? Ready? No, not that. Not that. That's the, that's the other intro. Hold on. This one. Ready? Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, comment button, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know the drill. Anyhow, it's Friday and I am up in, in I'm, I'm camping. I am gone. Um, by the time you watch this, I will be on the road heading to a campsite for Father's Day weekend with a bunch of family. And we are going to be gone. We're going to be doing some fishing. We're going to be doing some uh, horseshoes. Gonna be doing some hay rides, all kinds of crazy stuff, you know, spelunking, wilderness, camping. <sighs> I hope they have Wi Fi. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. Uh, camping is actually really fun for me, and uh, it's, it's gonna be fun for the, the family as well, you know, just to unplug and get away for the weekend. It's, uh, it's good, it's really good. Uh, I might take my VR headset, I don't know, just in case. Uh, you know, in, in case I need that, that little bit of technology, I will have like mobility, like mobile will be on and stuff like that. But as far as doing anything, we ain't doing nothing. We ain't doing nothing. So happy father's day to all the father gamers out there or the, the fathers of gamers, whichever the one you happen to be. If you happen to be a sports fan, but you're not really into games, you know, you're more than welcome here in, in lumber and Roblox and stuff like that. I mean, you do not have to be a hardcore gamer to play Lumber. It is it is not that kind of game. It's uh, it is fun, you know, but it's not it's not hardcore. Like you're, it's non-competitive. It's building creativity, and there's it's not like Minecraft because in Minecraft you have to worry about like skeletons and monsters and stuff like that. In lumber, if you mess up, it's because you messed up. It wasn't because anything else, you know. And that's that's save for the part of um, exploiters and somebody messed up your base. That's that's their fault. That's not your fault. So, uh, just so you know, it is late. It is super late. I started this way later than I intended to, and I've got work in the morning, you know, before. Uh, before we get to go take off and go have uh, a Father's Day weekend. Okay, so currently my settings are 1 and 0 .04. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to do some long planking. Bloop, drop that in there. Like that. <clears throat> okay, somebody's just trolled me because they're going the wrong way. There we go. Pull, pull that back in there. There you go. I wonder who could have trolled me. I wonder how long that's been like that, and I just haven't used my my wood uh, wood processor. What's going on here? Oh my gosh! Are all these are all backwards, aren't they? <gasps> what about you guys? Are you the, the right direction? Oh come on, come on! Oh no, that's bad. That's bad. If it gets stuck, you uh, Hoover, you Hoover. That's a Hoover move right there. Look at that. That entire thing just got trashed. Okay. You know what? Let's go. Let's go get a different one. Some somebody's definitely trolled me on that one. I didn't realize it was going to troll that hardcore. That's a that's a good troll, you know. Especially since like that's had to have happened like a long time ago. Is is that a that's an insult, right? Calling somebody a Hoover? Can we make that a thing? You Hoover instead of like Karen. <laughs> I mean, you can still use Karen, but uh, a Hoover would be somebody who uh, is usually helpful but trolls every once in a while. That'd be a, that'd be a Hoover, you know. <laughs> Got you again, code. <laughs> Sorry, that's. That's the sound of Hoover. Uh, for those of you that have never watched my videos before, I don't play uh, like big games. 
I enjoy myself. I have fun. And I talk a lot. It's it's more ah it's more like a family friendly blog. What is going on? Oh I just I parked on that just right, didn't I? Yeah I did. Yeah I did. <laughs> okay. So there we go. That's the process I wanted. That's beautiful. Look at it go. Look at it. That is awesome. So in order to make a long plank, you have to have your settings down to like uh, one, one width. That way your avatar can actually fit on it. Cause like, look, look at my feet, you know? You gotta get those two big hawkers onto that little bitty board. Those two steamboats of feet. The two, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Is it going, what's, Oh, it's done. Oh, good. So, for Father's Day weekend, let's go up the mountain. We are going to be doing some some long planking. You know, it's just going to be by myself. But it's something that I, I truly enjoy. Back before we got um, all these door bridges and all this craziness, this was the only way to travel to unknown areas. You grab yourself a long plank. You get really good at first person mode. Now here's the thing. If it's stretched out like that and I try and turn, oh, it's just, it's really rough, right? And then you got to deal with momentum and torque and all that other stuff. So what you want to do is you want to kind of rock that up until it's straight up and down. Okay. And then this is easy, you know? You can just turn all day long. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's a little unstable. But it's a lot easier to turn. The Secrets of Long Planking by Code Primate. An autobiography. You know, I, I wonder if I could write the, the book on lumber. Would you guys read a book about lumber tech into? I mean, I could do like a self-publish or something. Oh, oh I could do stories. Do everybody's personality. I'd have to see if it'd be okay with default, yeah. Make a comic book. Whoops. Completely dropped that. Notice how the, the sound changed? That's because the rocks that we're on are in a different model or a different area. And each one of the areas is actually in like a, a specific spot. So when you cross into it, the uh, sound system on your avatar changes. For all you nerd programmers out there, like me. If you, like me, are interested in programming, that is. Some people, they, they just don't care. They just want to know like that it will work for them when they want it. And that's the, that's the majority of corporate versions of programmers. Like, just make it work. Well, 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 well. well. Now this long plank isn't long enough to go up there, is it? No. Oh wait. Can we? Will that cross the gap? There's only one way to find out. Go ask Mr. Owl. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that's long enough. Touch. Touch. That's not, that's not long enough. Well. We, we, okay, okay, I'll go, I can go to the swamp. Oh, wait, can we go over here? Maybe? Maybe we can get up here. Come on, get up there. <sighs> In the comments down below, how many of you have been camping and did you like it? Do you, do you guys enjoy camping? Um, what is your favorite part about camping? What's the worst part? What, what do you not like? Uh, I remember whenever I was a kid, um, we used to go out to Table Rock Lake. Uh, it was just south of Missouri. And, uh, where's it in Arkansas? I think it's in Missouri. Table Rock Lake. And there was this old place called Dock 86, I think. And they have these campgrounds that are set up with, like, it's hard to explain. It, there's a place to put your tent. It's already mapped out and stuff. And like, we'd get like number five, which was over by the uh, Hero 
Kane. Kane? Um, it was over by the swimming area. And there was a, there was a marked off area with these orange buoys for um, swimming in the lake. Right? And there was a safe area. It was marked off. I loved it so much. Um, I used to take my bike because they had like a little, it was like a little peninsula that you could ride around in circles on and go meet like the other kids that were out camping with you on the weekend and stuff like that. Or if you got super lucky, there'd be a girl there and you could hang out with her, you know, just like a, a weekend girlfriend. It was, it was kind of cool, you know, go over to their campsite, make s'mores. Try and sneak holding hands. That was a long time ago. Of course, times have changed. Like, whenever I was a kid growing up, I used to ride around my neighborhood all the time on my bike. And I don't know if it's because communication has gotten faster or people have gotten more scary. But my kids, I mean, I barely let them ride once around the block, let alone like all throughout the neighborhood. <clears throat> that should be changing now. It should change. Now that they're a little bit older and I mean, what? We, we've only got four years. Wait, no. Two years. Three years. No, no, it's, it's like two years and Hope is going to be driving cars. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember like the first video she was in where I played with my kids and, and she played, uh, what was it, speed run with me? Do you guys remember that? I got a video, video um, audio strike on that video. Hello, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Theo. I, I, can't, I can't pronounce the last name, I'm so sorry. No way! You gotta be kidding me. How did I throw it up there like that? <gasps> no! Lost in the Bermuda Triangle. Is that like a perfect isosceles triangle? Is that isosceles? I mean, it's close. Illuminati confirmed. Defaultio's Illuminati. What is that? Thank you for the invite to the party. I won't be using it. Somebody over on Xbox is trying to invite me to a game. I'm like, I don't have Xbox. I mean, I do have Xbox, but it's not hooked up in here. Hold on. All right. Please tell me. Oh, uh, please tell me I can do this. Yay! Skills. Boop, 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 boop. Long planking is so fun. Oops, I missed. <clears throat> there's, there's really no area you can't get to by long planking. Oh, thank you so much. Why is all the subscribes? Like, it's three o'clock in the morning. Go to bed, guys. Unless, are all you that are subscribing, are, are you like overseas? Are you in another country? If you are, say hello from Brazil or, or something like that. And I will say hello from America. From the United States. Somebody was asking me in the comments, what's his real name? It's Heath Haskins. <laughs> and what's your Roblox name? It's Code Primate. Pretty much everything is Code Primate. Like you can Google Heath Haskins and it should pop up. Okay, Google. Who is Heath Haskins? Oh. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, Google. Who is Code Primate? Here's what I found on the web. Oh, it's just the same thing. He used to like read off uh, a whole description about me and stuff. Okay, Google. Search Heath Haskins. Got it. But first you'll have to unlock your device. 
Oh, okay. Okay, Google. Heath Haskins. It's yesterday's video from Subnautica. That's that is so cool. That is too cool. Ah, oh, Google knows who I am. Okay, Google. Define Heath Haskins. Here are some details. <laughs> That's funny. Whoa, wait a second. Where is this at? Where are we at? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that the cave? That is not the cave. What is this beautiful little area? Huh. Is there something back behind here? Nothing back behind here. Okay. Just a really big rock. Like a, a massive rock for some reason. Hmm. No reason in particular, Code. Defaultio just likes big rocks. That's that's cool. You can quote that too. Code Primate, 2021. Defaultio likes big rocks. Norberts, thank you so much for the subscribe. I appreciate it. Hold on, let's see if uh, let's see if we can bridge across this thing. Make a little bridge. Pop, pop. There we go. Nice. I'm really glad that the, uh, the glitch where it goes through the floor is gone. There used to be this glitch where whenever you pick something up and you'd start to, like, drop it. When you dropped it, it would go no collide for, like, a split second. And then, oh my goodness, that is super unstable. Hold on. Let's uh, let's do this again. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Pick it up. Stay right there. Turn. And down you go. Remember, when long planking, if if things are unstable, oop, you can walk up 90 degrees. Well, almost. It's like 89 degrees. So there there can be a one degree off from uh, right triangle version of walking up things. <clears throat> what was I talking about? I was I was talking about something just before that. I don't I don't remember. <clears throat> Anyhow. Oh, by the way, for you coffee drinkers out there, th this is this isn't for the kids. This is for um, like keto people, people that are trying the keto diets. And uh, if you're looking for a really good coffee, try Starbucks six shots. It's going to be a tall. Six shots with five Splenda. Shake it up really good. Add ice. Mmm. It was so good. That's like the best coffee. And I've only had one cup of coffee today. I took my ADHD meds this morning. And I went ahead and, and took one of my uh, coffees. And that was it. Because I've been like dead programming all day. <clears throat> I found a, a cool little bug. So I work with VMs, virtual machines, and computers and stuff like that, and I found a little bug with OneDrive. What happened was I, uh, I have, did I just hear Red Spark? That's kind of cool. I have a, um, What's it? I've got a thing. I got I got a thing. Um, a OneDrive. Okay, I have a virtual machine with a OneDrive account for a specific user on our work network, right? 
<clears throat> well, that's the machine that I use to run bots, to, uh, the unattended uh, bots for our company. And we needed two more versions just like that. So what we did is we duplicated the, uh, the hard drive, basically duplicated the VM, um, made sure that their licensing was good and stuff for Microsoft. So we were compliant. <clears throat> and then I found like a week later that files were disappearing. Stuff was just deleting. And when we went, went to look at who was deleting stuff out of the OneDrive, it was the same user. It was the same user for all three machines. So here's what you do. If you have a OneDrive that's already synced when you duplicate a drive or when you copy a drive over, you need to unsync the, uh, the OneDrive from all the machines. So if you copy it like 100 times, you have to uninstall it 100 times. Install it individually or by group policy for each one, and then log in and set it up from scratch. Because if you don't, it will think that it's the uh, same user, same machine across all the OneDrives. So if you delete one from one, the other one will see the change and goes, no, I'm, I'm the owner of that folder, and there's no change. It's kind of crazy. Anyhow, this has been my little tutorial on how to long plank. And like I said, it is really late. That is a beautiful moon, by the way. That'll, that'll be a great screenshot. Hold on. Boom. Hold on. Is, is that a great screenshot? Like that. Nice. Nice. Just like, just like that. I like that. So, <clears throat> I'm going to let you go. But before I go, uh, I am going to hit that little thing again. Ready? Here it goes. Oh, wait. Maybe. Is it going to do it? Or is that the one that I'm on? There it goes. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, please post them in the comments down below. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Happy Friday. If you had a bad day today, I hope it goes much better. I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, tell your parents you love them, you know? Tell the parents, tell your kids you love them. Ha take the time this weekend to share time with each other and just to play video games or play some board games. You know, unplug, um, un unwind, and take it easy. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.